how the trail arm works and the downswing as well as the backswing is a really important piece of jigsaw when it comes to building an efficient and repeatable swing and part of the swing that many of us find tricky to understand. So in today's video I'm going to give you three drills that anyone can use to help understand what this trail arm needs to do and feel like on the way down to create a much more consistent and powerful impact with a few ideas on the way back with a really cool one towards the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So broadly speaking, what are some common swing faults that we can see when the trail arm doesn't work in the right way and how do we want it to look? Well, there's two really common swing faults that I see when the trail arm isn't working the way that we want. Number one is in the backswing. So looking at the seam of my shirt, I never want the trail elbow to be working behind the seam of my shirt. And a really common swing fault that we see is the trail arm being ripped back straight from takeaway. It works behind the seam of my shirt. I get very gappy with the elbows. So there's quite a large gap forming here. I struggle to rotate. I struggle to complete my swing. I get very stuck. And I now have to throw at the golf ball in order to get that golf club onto the ball in any way, shape or form. So we see a lack of consistency, lack of club face control, and definitely a huge lack of power when it comes to this kind of almost behind throwy kind of motion in the swing due to the trail arm not working the way that we want. On the downswing, and this is definitely one of the more common of the two, is in transition. Going to the top, we see this trail elbow work behind us in transition, which changes the pitch of the shaft to more vertical. We keep that coming to the golf ball, and then we see a late early extension, a late flip to get the golf club back on target so that we don't miss the ball in any kind of way. And that flippy kind of early extension motion creates a lot of club face control inconsistencies, a lots of low point control uh, inconsistencies and definitely a general lack of power because we're not moving through and compressing that ball. We're having to late early extend and flip in order to get that golf club back on track due to trail arm not working the way that we want in the downswing. So, Let's talk about some drills that we can use to help rectify all of those faults. Drill number one is a fantastic one to give you a feel of how this trail bus should work in the downswing and definitely good for you guys who are looking like this in the downswing. As we said, that's a really common fault that we see. So you can do this without a golf ball, but as you say, it's going to give you a feeling that you can help then replicate onto a shot. I want you to hold the golf club straight up like this. Grip the golf club, grip the head with your trail arm put the golf club back down behind you so the golf club is near on, straight down to the floor like so, and then grip the grip with your lead hand. Now get into your golf posture, make a bit of move to the top, and as you now rotate back down to the golf ball, we want you to pull on this golf grip with your lead hand. You'll see how as I'm rotating through, my trail over is getting more in front of me. I'm not steeping the shaft if I was gripping the golf club as normal, so the golf club is effectively shallowing, allowing me to simply and freely rotate through the golf ball without any need of compensatory movement and seeing a really powerful impact from there. So if I had a golf swing or a golf club in my hand now and I create that exact same movement, my trail elbow gets more in front of me, I rotate freely through the hit and I'm really seeing a nice powerful move from there versus the trail arm or the trail elbow working behind me. So that's a really good drill that you can use in order to create a feeling as to what this trail arm should feel like on the way down. The second drill we can use is a two part exercise. The first part we can do without a golf club and this helps us to train the backswing as well as the downswing in one feel. So set to a golf ball, arms hanging down and then place the palms of your hands against one another. So from a face on perspective that will look like this. Now from this position quite simply make a rotation, make a backswing to the top and you'll notice how this position will help you to slot the trail arm in the right place so it doesn't get too behind us and it gives us a really nice feeling back down to the golf ball where that trail arm is exactly where you want it to sit as well. You can then grab yourself a golf club, grip it with your, for me, right hand or trail hand and place the backside of your lead hand just cusping the bottom of your tricep. From here, again, we're going to make a swing to the top. This is going to control the trail arm in a really good way. Remember, the trail elbow is not going behind the seam of my shirt. And also, that's going to help me control what that trail arm is doing on the way down, coming into the hitting area from there. You can start with some nice kind of chip shots, building up to three quarter shots, hitting some balls from there. But even if you didn't, this is a really good one to feel what the golf club should be doing when the trail arm is working the right way, back and through, and then build it up into some golf shots from there. And the last drill, the one that I said is quite a cool one, is to think about holding a dumbbell. So 
Set up to golf ball, imagine you're holding a dumbbell with your right arm, or my trail arm. So I'm holding it out in front of me like so. If I was to keep that dumbbell positioned to the top, what would I see? I see that trail arm working the right way. I wouldn't pull the dumbbell behind us. I wouldn't push it in front of me in any way. I would keep that shape. I would keep this elbow structure as I hold the dumbbell all the way to the top, almost in somewhat of a bicep curl at the top of the swing. And I'd return back down to the golf ball, hold that dumbbell in the same way. You'll now see how my trail arm is nice and out in front of me. I've kept the, the shape of my trail arm quite well. So that would look like this and this from that kind of perspective. I can then grab myself a golf club. Okay, that's what it feels like. There's my dumbbell. There's my dumbbell position on the way down as well. Back down into impact and kind of through. It's that real good little dumbbell analogy. You can even grab yourself a very lightly weighted dumbbell. If you have one, like a one or two kg dumbbell, just as, for a little bit of weight so you can feel what that position is like with a little bit of weight in there to train that feeling. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which drill worked best for you and which one gave you the best results by dropping me a comment in the comment section down below or drop me a follow on my socials and drop me a ping from there. For any online or in-person coaching, give me a follow on the Skillist app, search David Atkins and drop me a message from there. But until next time, catch you on the next one. Maybe wanna press rewind, give me that double take, that's on my mind, my mind.